Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today is going to be a crazy day. Like, really, really crazy. I'm going to start out by saying it is 5 a.m. and we are driving down to Connecticut for me to take my SAT. I was going to take it in June and then of course like last minute I got COVID before that so I couldn't do it then. So we had to reschedule and this was the next date so this is like the very last minute for me to be taking the SAT. I haven't taken it yet. I've only taken the PSAT. It is what it is at this point. I haven't studied so. After that we are driving to New York. I'm seeing Harry Styles today. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. So let's head out. Let's Go get the SAT done and then we'll have fun tonight. We made it to Connecticut. You can tell I'm tired. I'm very tired. It's 7 a.m. My SAT doesn't start for another hour, so I'm just gonna chill out here. I'm honestly like keeping it low stress for the test but the thing I'm most worried about is actually like going into school and finding my way in there so once that's over with then it's going to be fine I'm sure but yeah we're manifesting a good score manifesting it being fine and yeah I'm just gonna hang out take my test and I will update you guys once I'm done with it We made it to New York. Now we have a couple hours to hang out before I have to go down to Madison Square Garden. So yeah, we're gonna go get dinner, walk around, just explore. It's been a really long time since we've actually stayed over in New York just because of COVID and everything. I think I'll probably put on some shorts because it's a little warm here. But other than that, I'm gonna make my beautiful couch bed in our teeny tiny hotel room and then we're gonna head out. I don't know how to handle myself. I am heading out to see Harry Styles in like, literally like 20 minutes. I am so excited. I saw him last tour and it was just such an amazing night. So I can't wait and I'm seeing him at Madison Square Garden. It's just so exciting. So I have on my outfit. I haven't done any makeup or anything as you can see. My hair is a mess. We're gonna deal with it, but I put on my outfit because I needed my mom to pin my necklace on. So we have the necklace. We have the Harry's House sweater. I'll show you guys the whole outfit again in a second. And then I have these sparkly awesome pants that I made. See the chunky necklace. This necklace and sweater are a reference to, I think it was just a PR post for Harry's house. So I made this sweater as a sweater vest because I knew it was gonna be hot. It is pretty hot, it's like mid 80s. So I'm glad I made a sweater vest. These pants are from the As It Was music video. If you haven't seen it, just go watch it. Yeah, I just made them literally yesterday. I made this sweater months ago. So <laughs> I was really running out of time. Makeup time, I guess, makeup and hair, and then gotta make some TikToks, then we will head out. I'm just up, ready to go. The lighting is atrocious right here, so let's go into the bathroom. Okay, here's the final look. Uh, yeah, I'm not a makeup artist, so sorry, but matches the necklace, so that's what I was going for. I am so excited. I can't believe this is happening. Like, honestly, last year I felt like I had so long to prepare and it just snuck up on me this time. By the way, I am going to the concert alone. I could only get one ticket when I went to pre-sale. It was a mess. I just hate Ticketmaster with like my entire being. So going alone, but oh my, I'm so excited. Okay, here is the full look. Makeup, necklace, sweater vest, door. <laughs> Okay, pants, and then I'm wearing these chunky shoes. 
I'm just about to walk out the door, but now I'm starting to like wonder about Madison Square Garden's camera policy and I'm getting worried because I don't have any space left on my phone. Yeah, I'm really worried. So I'm gonna put it at the bottom of my bag once I get there before I go through bag check and hopefully I get through with it. There was some random website that said that point and shoot cameras and disposables are all right for most events, but I hope this is most events. Like I'm getting scared. My phone camera is not good. And I don't want to have to run back here. It's like a half mile to bring this back. So please let me through. Please let me through.
Madison Square Garden. My name is Harry. It's an absolute pleasure to be here with you tonight. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for choosing to spend some time with us. We appreciate it. It's so much to us. Thank you very, very much for being here with us tonight.
One of my closest friends in the whole world is in the audience tonight. And it's his birthday. So, he's over here, his name is Xander. And all I ask is that Madison Square Garden will please help me sing happy birthday to Xander. He's over there. He's 45 today. He's 45. No, he's 39. He looks 45. He's 39. So Madison Square Garden, will you please, will you please help me sing happy birthday to this very, very old man? On three. One. Two, three.
I don't get to do this if you guys don't come, okay? It's just me prancing around in an empty room. It's a very, very different vibe, okay? This is much more fun. Things like this do not happen to people like me. This is an incredible room. It's a privilege to play it. I know I'm only here because of each and every single one of you chose to come tonight. I thank you that you've been supporting me for one year, five years, 12 years, whatever it is. You've changed my life over and over and over again. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much, New York. Thank you, Madison Square Garden. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You somehow managed to change my life over again. After the next song that we're going to play from the camera. And tonight, I would like to dedicate it to a friend who's in the audience who directed the music video for me. She's over there, her name is Tanu. And I would like to dedicate this one to you. This is my favorite song to play. Thank you so much. Thank you, we love you. New York, thank you so much. Good night. We just got back to the hotel room and I don't even know how to describe it. That was even better than last year. Like, I'm gonna have to get my thoughts together and talk to you guys again tomorrow, but like, 
That was so good. And we got medicine. I could not believe it. You could like hear everyone like gasp when, <laughs> when the guitar started. So I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Say farewell to the outfit. I got a lot of compliments on it. People loved the sweater vest especially. So I'm glad it was a hit. So we walked around New York this morning. Now we are heading out, leaving our teeny tiny little hotel room. So I'm back now, as you can see, and it's time to kind of reflect on the whole weekend and the concert and everything. So I guess we'll start at the beginning. I went to Connecticut, did my SAT, I think it was fine. Not gonna be like the best score ever, but it was fine. I did end up getting through with my camera, I kind of shoved it at the bottom behind my phone, and I have a clear backpack so nobody, nobody noticed, so I made it in fine, and then upstairs so you go up like all of these escalators to like the main area where the food is and where all the merch stands are and when i say all the merch stands i don't know how many there were there were so many merch stands like you were weaving in and out of lines trying to get actually into the arena you can't get into the merch lines if you don't have a ticket unless you're doing the early merch so i had to kind of think like how am i going to get this like i don't want to carry my merch while i'm in the concert so I decided to not buy it and hopefully we we're going to be able to get into the early merch stands the next day. I didn't really know what to do. I kind of just sat in my seat for like a while before the concert. I was happy with my seats. Of course I couldn't get anything better because Ticketmaster just likes to screw me over every single time. So I got pre-sale and I got in and I got 20th row in the first section and it was like kind of towards the middle. It wasn't like the best view ever but I think it was a little better than last year. The concert itself was the best concert I've been to, even better than last year. Not for any like particular reason, it just felt like everything was right. I don't know what clicked there but it just felt so great. It was better somehow. This year so many more fans and it was like the energy was just there. It seemed like Harry was having a really good night so it was awesome. We got to see the whole chicken nugget fiasco, the divorce party thing, and then she pulled the medicine sign on him. You make him play medicine, so we got it. I could not believe it. Everyone screamed so loud when it started, like, it was so great. So I'm really, really happy I got to hear that. Yeah, it was a great concert, a great weekend. I'm really happy about it. I'm so happy I got to go. So... Now I'm gonna show you guys the merch that I got because once the concert ended and I got straight into the merch line, I was like the second person in line so I was able to get all of my merch and then exit the venue. All the escalators were off on the way out so you had to like walk down them as stairs. It was weird. First thing I got is the Love on Tour 2022 shirt. So I love the colors of this and I'm happy that it's black because last year's shirt is white and it just scares me to wear it so... I don't wear it very often. I like to look at it. That's why I didn't get the New York special shirt because I really, really didn't want to have another white shirt. So I also got the Love and Tour tote bag. I didn't get a tote bag last year. I think I just didn't want to like spend all of my money, but I wanted to spend all of my money this year. So I got one. So this will be fun to use. And the last thing that I got is this Love and Tour poster pretty self-explanatory it is also giant like you see the one back here let me show you the size difference it's a lot bigger so I don't know where on my poster wall I'm going to fit it it definitely is not going to fit in any of the empty spaces I'm gonna to have to retire a poster so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me to see Harry in New York it was a really awesome weekend make sure to go check out my other social medias because I have more Harry content there. Make sure to check out my Etsy shop at Rosie Revolts where you can see the sweater vests that I have made for Harry. I have this one right here and there are a couple other ones that I've made as well. Also make sure to check out my book at getoutdoorsbook.com and I will see you guys later. Bye!